I'm going to make some hazelnut shortbread. Do you know what hazelnuts are? They're, they're another word for them is filberts. It's not a very popular nut, but they are delicious. I have a little bit of salt that's going to go in. I have three and a half cups of flour. And in the flour, I have a little bit of salt and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I've got uh, three sticks of butter. I've got, uh, what am I got here for sugar? One cup of sugar. I have some almond extract. I have some vanilla extract. I have two teaspoons of water and one cup of finely chopped hazelnuts. So into the mixing bowl goes the soft butter and the one cup of sugar. Send that on a ride so it gets nice and creamy. This is almond extract, very strong, approximately a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And two teaspoons of water. And back on the mixer. And then we'll add our dry ingredients afterwards. Smell of the almond and the butter, which is so strong. shapes you happen to like. You can make them diamonds, squares, rectangles, rounds, whatever. And then we're going to have a surprise filling at the end. So there we go. Plastic wrap. And into the refrigerator for at least a half an hour or 45 minutes. And then we'll come back and roll them up. going to proceed with our hazelnut shortbread. It's been in the refrigerator for a, uh, a little over half now, maybe 35 minutes or so, while I took a lunch break. And now I'm going to roll these out. Still soft. You could actually leave this, probably this cookie dough in the refrigerator overnight. Although it would be very 
hard and warm because the butter would set up as hard as regular butter would in the refrigerator. So you'd have to leave it at room temperature for a few minutes, but you could do it. You could probably even take the dough, make it, and freeze it in Ziploc bags and take it out in portions and just make a few at a time. But we're going to make these cookies and then we're going to freeze some of them if they last. Okay, about a quarter of an inch thick. Add a little lump there. And now I have like a two and a quarter inch cookie cutter. I'm going to use the fluted sacks. I want to make it pretty. Cut them out. Put them on a, I have parchment lined sheet. Now, since we're going to make sandwich cookies out of these, and I told you we're going to sandwich them with something, a surprise. I'm going to make half the cookies solid rounds. Three, six, nine I've got here on the first round. And then the other half, so we're going to three. I'm going to take, I just took a regular uh, decorating tip and I turned it backwards. If you have anything else that will cut a little hole in the center. nice hole in the top of the top half of the cookie so the stuff that we put in the middle will show pretty. And we will just keep cutting, rolling and cutting, rolling and cutting until we've used up all of our dough. I have a little bit more dough left, and um, if I get ambitious when the first batch goes in there, I'll, I'll get a small cookie sheet out and finish these up. But we, we got quite a few cookies. Um, I didn't count, so we'll give you a count later on. So, in 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes, and then later on after they cool off, I'll show you what the surprise film is going to be. Here are hazelnut shortbreads all cooled out of the oven. First thing we're going to do is take the tops. I'm not going to do all of them, just a, just a couple. We take the tops, put some sugar. This will be a nice decoration on the top. Through a sieve. It comes out nice so that we don't get any lumps. Now, surprise filling I talked to you about. Nutella. If you haven't tried Nutella, it's an Italian mixture. It's absolutely wonderful. It's, it's hazelnut and chocolate. And these are hazelnut shortbread. So hazelnut and chocolate and shortbread. So we're going to take a little bit of Nutella, put it on our cookie, take a pretty top, do it down, and look at that. You've got a beautiful cookie. And you put a bunch of those on a tray, they are going to disappear. I hope you enjoy them.